Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 11th, 2019. Mr. Andranik Arakelov, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Can you make video with template class using double pointers? Thank you very much for leaving questions. What I don't clearly understand is double pointer. Do you mean pointer to pointer or template class with two pointers or pointer to pointer of type template class? I don't actually understand correctly what's your question, but I will film about it shortly. Where is Sa? Hello, Kim. Can you take a video type alias, alias template using specifier about them? Thank you very much. Thank you for leaving, Mr. Beresa. Also, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. I will film about type alias and namespace alias, all kind of alias, and also about using statement or declaration, things like that, after this video. I'm very happy to announce that I will create C++ extension library. In this link, you can find the complete source code and documentation also including videos. This is the starter for this series of videos. This project will be a huge one. Through this project, through this series of videos, I will completely implement C++ library extension. What I mean C++ library extension is that in standard C++ library, there are lots of features that are missing. I mean, there are lots of missing features. I will implement them through this series of videos in production level. I will provide complete source code as well as complete documentation both online like this and also offline. Please double click this link to download our extension library. In this episode, we will learn how to set Microsoft CL environment variable and also how to set GNU C++ and Clang++ system environment variables on window. When download is complete, click show in folder, unzip the downloaded file like this, then copy the folder. In devsoft, I will create a folder, cpp extension root, like this. In this folder, I will paste the file and double click this folder. Example folder, you will find C++ examples and include the folder, we will create libraries in this folder. For more about setting Microsoft C++ compilers environment variable setting, please click this link. From this link, you can read more about CL environment variable settings, such as include and lib pass. For setting GNU G++ and Clang++, please double click this link. In this document, you can read more about environment variable settings for GNU G++ and Clang++ compiler. We will need to set this variable. Now in this folder, copy the folder path, right click, search, environ, then you can find edit system environment variable, click environment variable, here click new, then paste the path, then set cpp extension dir like this, then click OK. Then click OK. When we change system environment variable in this section, we have to reboot the system. So I will reboot the system, then I will keep filming this video. 
I just rebooted my system. If you don't like rebooting, then you can do like sign out then sign in. In my case, I just rebooted my system. Search environment, then edit system environment variable once again. Click this button. In this section, user variable for Thomas Kim. Click new. Then see. I will start with include, include, then here we have to say percent cpp extension dir percent. Copy this text, copy, then OK. Then once again new, paste it here once again, then here C plus. Include pass like this. Click OK. We added C extension dir and we added two variables C include pass and include pass. Then it should be resolved like this. When we change our folder, if we modify this variable, then these two variables will also be modified. Then click OK. Then click OK. Start your file explorer and the evsoft C++ extension root C++ extension. We can start with this folder root or this folder. In my case, I am using this folder because I will put more files in this level. I will copy this folder path, then right click my command prompt, right click, properties, then paste the folder path here, click OK, then start Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, open folder, paste the folder path like this, select folder. In this folder, there is an example file like this. Here, click this button, 0, 0, 0, hello, cpp, include, Talk play button, type HPP, int main. If you have this squiggle message, then quick fix. Or you can start configuration help. For more information about configuring include paths for better intelligence results, please read this document. In this file here, C cpp properties.json file, comma, quote, dollar, cpp extension dir. To start like this. Then, save all. Then close it. Then the schedule goes away. Declare an instance of type int int instance std see out the type category of instance talk play fun get type category instance std render std see out the value category of instance talk play fun get value category instance std and there we include here include io stream then save, control S, then the schedule goes away. About get type category, get value category, these are macro functions. If you click here, 
INIT index. Right click, reveal in Explorer. Double click it. This is local documentation. So if you click file, file members, then you can find its definition by clicking this link. For example, get type category is defined. This, this is example file, sample file. This is sample. And a macro that returns types string name like this get type category a macro that returns instance arg this is instance arg type category string name so these are defined somewhere in this file okay so if you click this in this file you can find its definitions this is macro defined like this. It uses internal function this. If you want to see the source code, you can click this link. Then these macros are defined in this file. In talk paper type HPP. So in type HPP, One function, this is one function is defined and three macros are defined like this. By clicking this link, you can read more about the, this function. And if you click this line number, then you can find where this file is exactly defined, how it is defined. In next episode, I will explain how to implement type to string and these two macros. Now click it. So we will build this pile, start your command prompt, dir cd cpp extension cd examples, we will be using clang compiler, clang 000, hello cpp O C E X E. So built successfully. This macro when an instance of a type, an object or instance of a type is given as argument, then get type category returns type's name as a string. Okay, in case of this value category, this macro function get value category returns its instance value category, its L value reference. So in next session, I will explain get type category and get value category, how to implement these functions. Please note that this type function, get type category and get value category, and another macro, get type name, these are defined in this function here. I provide complete source code and I will explain how to implement these functions. These three macros are really important. In case of get type name, get type category, these two macros are the key, your secret weapon for advanced C++ programming. These type functions are not included in C++ standard library. My audience who understands what these functions are and how to implement these will be a great weapon, great asset for your C++ development. In this episode, we learned how to download our C++ extension library and we made settings for Microsoft C++ compiler environment variable and GNU G++ and Clang's environment variable. We set this value and also this value. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.